nervous i'm actually excited um there's been a lot of hard work that has gone into you know coming till this point it's been a journey of a year and a half so yes and i've got such an amazing star cast you know um that they they've made this journey worth every minute of that well i think everyone goes through phases in life yeah and change is the only constant and if you don't change if you don't keep up with times if you don't try and bring about newness then you become stagnant especially as an actor and i'm glad that finally you know when i entered the industry the one question everyone asked me is amisha you're so highly educated you're rajni patel's granddaughter why would you be here as if people who are brainless in this industry it was so insulting but i'm glad today that answers their question that you know a woman with brains and intelligence mm -hmm. can actually dance around trees too and make a difference yeah. I'm going to make this brief, you know, because we don't want to let out too much from the in the from the bag. Uh I think the Desi magic part of it is the fact that, you know, uh, um one of Amisha's characters who brings about uh, a lovely change in uh the way things to way things go or the way things unfold. And uh, I think what the idea is when you say Desi, you know, uh, we are emotionally attached to, you know, Desi pun, Desi ness, you know, whichever part of the world we are in. uh the minute we you know uh, uh, encounter our culture or our food or you know wherever we are say we are in austria and we get a nice butter chicken with butter dal and naan we tend to like appreciate it like a hell of a lot more so i think uh, the desi magic bit is the desi element that always keeps us real keeps us indian keeps us proud and something that uh, always sort of elevates us in our mood our spirit uh, i think that's the connotation of desi magic <laughs> I think they have a long lasting friendship. I can answer that question a lot better because uh, I've known Amisha for a while now. Uh she's uh, uh uh you know as the show horrible bosses she's not one of them, right? She's a cool boss. She's actually like she's she's she manipulates herself into every role. She helps you. She's fun. At the same time she's like a party person but without the minus the parting. So she's like yeah, she's like how I'm talking to you yeah, the same question and I think you know creatively whenever you were involved in a creative industry, I I don't think it you really like have you know labels of boss and yeah. stuff like that. I think it's a it's 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 a total effort. It's a wholesome effort from everybody. uh yeah but having said that she can be very bossy yeah she will kick you know? my ass for sure if i don't deliver <laughs> and i don't mind getting my ass kicked by this gorgeous little girl <laughs> i'll just be like ouch <laughs> as an actor no no i i i asked sail that you know there's a scene where he is in the beach where he is showing his tattoo in his entire body there with four friends so maybe i could just stand one of those moments where i'm just standing as one of his friends there but not as an actor i'm loving my place as a producer Well it's a double role so you did see the cute bubbly mahi and uh, that's the amisha i think everyone expects uh but the heart of this film uh, is the character of sonia more than mahi as well and uh, i'm glad that in the first viewing itself you could see that impact it had to be diametrically opposite she spoiled her father has a lot of money and uh she shops she drinks she flirts she has men like i said in the end both of them will do and she's a complete wild child so i think that's what this character is so she i'm glad it was impactful